Yo, what's up guys, Zyro here, and welcome to my top 10 rebirth class setups video. I know you guys have been asking for this video for a long time, so I finally got around to making it. Season two is right around the corner. Now these are gonna be the classes that you're gonna wanna be running in the new season. This just depends on how good the new weapons are gonna be when they implement them into season two. Now, from what I've heard, we're gonna be getting a new SMG mid season, and then off the rip, we're gonna get a new AR and a new LMG. Firstly, guys, I just wanna underline that I am using the exact same perks, lethal and tactical on every single one of my classes. I feel like this is the best combo for rebirth. Quick fix is amazing when you're trying to fight more than one person. As soon as you down somebody or full kill somebody, your health will start to regenerate to max health, which is just great for all them situations where you're in like a 1v2 or 1v3. Overkill, pretty self-explanatory, just so you can run two primary weapons and definitely amp so you can use your lethals and tacticals a lot faster and swap weapons faster. Well, as for the lethal and tacticals, I'm going for the throw knife. This is just the best for full killing enemies. It's the most efficient way to full kill enemies. And the tactical, we're going to be running the stim. Since the new integration, the stims have been so dominant in rebirth just because of the movement speeds you get um, and the slide speed you get. When you pop one of these things, it's, it's really good. I definitely recommend you guys start running stims on every single one of your classes. Classes. Jumping straight into the number 10 spot, I've gone for the Growl on the MP5. Now this is such an OG class, but it's still so effective in Rebirth. Now I'm sure you guys know the classes for these two guns, but I'll go through them anyway, just in case. I won the Monolithic Suppressor for the best damage range, the Archangel Barrel, which gives you the nice clean iron sights, Tac Laser for ADS speed, the 60 round mag, and the Commando Foregrip for recoil control. On the MP5 build, there's two ways that you can build this gun. You can either win the Monolithic Suppressor, or the monolithic integral suppressor, which is this one here. And you're gonna wanna use the collapsible stock for the best movement speed, sleight of hand for the best reload speed, 45 round mag, and the Merc foregrip, which is the best for hip fire accuracy. Jumping into the number nine spot, I'm gonna be running the FFAR and the PPSH. Now, I dropped 41 kills with this PPSH recently. This is such an underrated gun. It's quite low down on my list though, just because of how broken some of the Vanguard SMGs are. Jumping into the Farrah class, this is the best low recoil build for long range. We're gonna start off with the Gru suppressor on the muzzle. The Spetsnaz RPK barrel for the best long range damage. The Axial Arms 3x scope. The Spetsnaz 60 round mag. And the Spetsnaz foregrip for the best recoil control. Next up, the PPSH build. I ran this in Wednesday's video, dropping 41. This gun's insane. The Sound Suppressor as the muzzle. Task Force barrel. Tiger Team Spotlight. The 55 round drum, which you can swap out to the 71 round if you want, if you feel like you need more ammo. And the bruiser grip for the underbarrel for movement speed. Next up in the number eight spot, this might be quite a controversial one for you guys because I know a lot of people love the Cooper Carbine. I've put it quite far down on my list because I feel like it doesn't offer the same sort of damage outputs as some of the other ARs in the game. Jumping into the class setup for the Cooper, I'm rocking the MX silencer on the muzzle, the 22 inch Cooper Custom, which is really good for accuracy and recoil control. Next up is the SVT 40 scope. This is the best for visual recoil on Vanguard ARs. I definitely recommend using this on all of your Vanguard ARs. The stock have gone for the Cooper Custom Padded for the accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. Perk, we have Vital. Now, this is good for torso damage. You can put on hard scope if you want for extra recoil control, but I would uh, definitely recommend you go for Vital. Fully loaded on the Perk 2 just to make sure you got enough ammo every time you respawn with your loadout. The Polymer Grip, this is good for flinch resistance and accuracy. This is probably the best grip to run on uh, all the ARs in the game. The 60 round mag, which offers the fire rate, which makes this gun so broken, to be fair. Uh, this is why it's on my top 10, because of all these fire rate attachments you can put on it. It makes the Cooper like an absolute laser. Compressed rounds, again, for fire rate. This is just, you know, decreasing the time to kill massively, which is just amazing for the Cooper. And this is probably the only gun in the game I've seen with this many fire rate attachments. It's it's pretty insane. And last of all, I've got the M1941 handstop for the best recoil control and accuracy. For the secondary weapon, I've gone with the good old Cold War MP5. I know a lot of you guys still love this thing. This is the best build that I found for me. I've experimented with so many different builds on the MP5. I feel like this is the most comfortable one. Agency support presser for the muzzle and then we skip these three and come down to the combat stock for the stock serpent wrap for the rear grip 50 round drum and the bruiser grip you can put the 50 round fast mag on but i feel like there's barely any difference between reload speed between these two i feel like these cold war guns are quite buggy with their attachments i feel like the fast mag doesn't really do much and it just decreases your ads speed anyway next up we're moving into the number seven spot we're going to be running the m13 and the ppsh now this is a very high fire rate class you guys are probably going to love this one if you haven't tried it out already on the m13 i've got the monolithic suppressor tempest marksman barrel 
Corp Combat Hollow Sight. I am winning the blue dot on this. If you guys do have the blue dot, I would definitely recommend putting that on. It's the cleanest out of all the sights. As you can see, there's no blockage around the middle. It's just a nice clean blue dot. If you haven't got it yet and you have got the Modern Warfare multiplayer, I would definitely recommend grinding to get that blue dot. Following on from that, we have got the 60 round mags. You definitely want the, uh, the 60 instead of the 50 on this because it does tear through ammo quite quickly and the commando for grip. Probably the easiest gun to use in the game in my opinion. The thing literally doesn't move so I'll definitely give this a try. Moving on to the PPSH class, this gun has become very popular in the Vanguard integration. This isn't a hip fire build, this is just the normal SMG build that you guys want to be running if you use the M13. I have the recoil booster as the muzzle. The I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. That's the 230, it's the second barrel. 230B03P. These stats boost your hip fire accuracy, hip fire recoil control, recoil recovery and fire rate. So this is definitely the best barrel. I know a lot of people run the rapid but as you can see you get a lot more pluses from this one. Moving on to the optic, this is personal preference. I like to run the slate reflector. Stock, I have remove stock. This is very good for spin to fire speed, hip fire accuracy and movement. You definitely want to be as quick as you can running this PPSH. Moving on to the perks. First of all we have tight grip for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. This is definitely needed on this PPSH as the recoil is pretty severe without all of these perks and attachments put together. Secondly, we have quick, pretty self-explanatory. This is just for sprint speed so you can be faster. Polymer grip, this is needed as well. Just like I mentioned before with the tight grip, the accuracy and recoil uh, during sustained fire is definitely needed. So make sure you have the polymer grip on. Now for the magazine, this is personal preference. You can go with either one of these 71 round mags. I like the fire rate ones. I feel like the gun absolutely melts with the fire rate rounds on them. I know that the 71 one round normal is great because you don't get this uh, con for damage. Like I said, faster fire rate can lead to faster TTKs. So it's up to you guys, whichever one you want to run. I would recommend trying this first one out first. Ammo type, I have picked incendiary, which is probably the only ammunition you should be running on these Vanguard weapons because of how broken it is. For the underbarrel, I've gone with the Mark VI skeletal stock. This is definitely the best underbarrel for all Vanguard SMGs. Moving on to the number six spot, we have the XM4 and Bullfrog combo. Now I know you guys are going to love this class, the XM4 and the Bullfrog such well-liked weapons. Agency suppressor for the muzzle, pretty self-explanatory, pretty much what you want to run on all Cold War ARs. Task force barrel, axial arm scope, the 60 round mag, and the field agent grip. Now this thing has very, very low recoil and high damage outputs, so probably one of the easiest low recoil guns to use in the game, so definitely try this one out, guys. Moving on to the secondary weapon, we have the fan favorite bullfrog. Look how nice this thing looks, man. I've got the Gru suppressor as the muzzle, the KGB skeletal stock as the rear stock, serpent wrap for ADS speed, 60 65 round mag. Now I know a lot of people like to go all out and run the 85, but with the 65 you get a lot more ADS speed, movement speed, so make sure you give the 65 round mag a go. And for the underbarrel, I'm running the Bruiser Grip. I would usually run the Tiger Team Spotlight, but not that long ago, Raven actually nerfed this attachment, so the Bruiser Grip is now the best option for movement speed. Moving on to the number 5 spot, we have the AK-47 and the OTS. The OTS is still very, very good in this game. This was absolutely dominant last season. These are the best two classes I found for me. So for the AK-47, we're going to start off with the Gru Suppressor, the Spetsnaz RPK barrel for damage range, the Axial Arms Optic, 60 round, and the Spetsnaz. You can kind of see a pattern with these Cold War weapons. You know, you're pretty much running the Gru, the longest barrel, the Axial Arm Scope, the highest mag. For the grip on the AK-47, it's not the Field Agent, it's the Spetsnaz. So it's a pretty much the same pattern with the AK as it was with the XM4. Secondly, we are going to go into the OTS class. This is the one I have found the best for me, especially after all of the nerfs that this OTS has received. The Gru Suppressor for the muzzle, for the damage range. Task Force Barrel, again, for damage range. Serpent Wrap as the rear grip for quick ADS speed. The 40 round fast mag, which is definitely needed. I feel like you go through these 40 rounds quite quick. This is the highest mag that is on offer. So definitely put the fast mags on because with the normal 40 round, you go through ammo so quickly and the reload speed just isn't quick enough. And just like before, we won the Bruiser Grip on the OTS 2 just for that extra movement speed and hit fire accuracy. Now, moving on to the number four spot, we have got the C58 and the MP40. Now, don't worry, guys, this isn't going to be the last time you see the MP40 on this list. But we'll go straight into the C58 class first. Again, pretty much the same. I've got the Agency Suppressor, the Task Force Barrel, Axial Arm Scope, the 45 round drum for this one. This kind of plays like an AMAX. Um, if you guys use the AMAX when that used to be meta, it does not need the 50 and the 55 round mags. It's a very powerful AR, just like the AMAX. So I definitely recommend running the 45 round drum on the C58. And finally, we have got the field agent grip again as the underbarrel for the best recoil control possible. The C58 has received quite a few nerfs, however, it is still a very high damage output AR. You guys want to be definitely running this on one of your classes, I would give this a go. The recoil control is pretty hard compared to some of the weapons.
weapons like the Farah and the XM4, however the damage makes up for that. Now moving on to the MP40 class, we have got the Recoil Booster, the Krausnik 317mm barrel. Now for the optic again, I have got the Slate Reflector. Now this is quite important on the MP40, I know a lot of people run the iron sights, however I feel like the bottom of the gun, the butt of the gun is quite obstructive, especially when somebody drop shots or something like that. It's You can't really see them with the iron sights, so I would recommend trying out the Slate Reflector on this MP40 build. I think you guys will see a big difference in your gameplay and how many gunfights you win. For the stock, I have the Krausnik 33M Folding. This is good for sprint to fire speed and movement speed. I know a lot of people like to run the Remove stock, so either one of these two, but I'd go for the Krausnik over the Removed. Perks, I run Perfectionist. This is great for that extra bit of recoil control. This gun pretty much doesn't move. For the Perk 2 slot, I have Quick. This is good for sprint speed. Definitely want to be as fast as you can running this MP40. For the rear grip, I have the Fabric. Now you can either use Fabric or Leather. They pretty much do the same thing however i feel like you get more ads speed and more sprint to fire speed with the fabric so definitely try the fabric grip now for the magazine this is very important guys i know i see a lot of people running the 64 and that's a big big mistake the thing that makes the mp40 so good is this attachment right here this 45 round mag paired with the recoil booster is why this gun is so broken right now because the fire rate is so fast the recoil is so low and the damage and the ttk is just unbelievable so make sure you're running the recoil booster and the 45 round mag for the ammunition i have incendiary again self-explanatory you need to be running this on every single vanguard weapon pretty much i can feel that they're going to nerf this incendiary damage a lot in season two so make sure you guys get the most out of this before it does get nerfed for the underbarrel again i have the mark six skeletal stock make sure you're running this now moving into the top three best rebirth classes in warzone this is the stg and the owen gun the stg is probably the best all-round ar in the game for the class setup we're going to start off with the mx silencer for the muzzle there's two muzzles i would recommend you guys try out if you guys want to use a suppressor use the mx silencer if you're not too bothered about using a suppressor then use the f8 stabilizer this gives you extra damage range and accuracy you will see a quite a severe difference between these two attachments however most people like to run a suppressor so i would recommend using the mx silencer if that's the case moving on to the barrel you want to be using the longest barrel the vdd 760 millimeter barrel this provides the best accuracy the best damage range so make sure you're using this barrel optic again as i mentioned before the svt 40 scope is the best optic for the vanguard ars it gives you the least visual recoil moving on to the stock we have the vdd 34s weighted this is the best for recoil control flinch resistance accuracy and aiming stability all the other stocks are pretty much worthless to be honest if you're running the stg as say like you know an smg at close range then maybe you could use these two but the precision and the tactical is pretty useless compared to this weighted. Moving on to the perk slots, I have the vital perk on the first one. This is definitely what you want to be running on the STG. It just makes those chest shots absolutely devastating with the STG. This thing can kill so quick with this vital perk on. Perk 2, again, we have fully loaded just to make sure you guys have the most ammo that you need. Rear grip, I go for the polymer grip. Again, I mentioned this before. This is what you want to run on all the Vanguard ARs for the best flinch resistance and accuracy. Again, the ammunition, I've gone with incendiary. Like I mentioned before, make sure you're using this. And the magazine, now there is two different magazines I recommend here. 50 round mag is great for rebirth. As you can see, you get extra fire rate, obviously less damage, but this thing is so accurate with this 50 round mag on. I feel like it literally has no recoil, especially paired with all the other attachments that I've just just mentioned you get better movement speed better aim down sight speed and the recoil control and accuracy like i mentioned literally this gun does not move if you are more of a higher skill player i would definitely try out the 60 round drums on this gun the damage with this thing is absolutely unreal with this drum on now i know a lot of the lower skill players will struggle to use the scg with these rounds on so if you do feel uncomfortable using the 60 round put the 50 on to be honest i actually love using this 50 round mag i feel like it's so fun for rebirth with that being said we are left with the underbar I've gone again with the M1941 handstop. This is the best of the barrel for all the ARs for recoil control and accuracy. Moving on to the secondary, we have the Owen gun. Now, this gun has been coming really popular recently. It's got such great damage, such good movement speed, and a lot of the pros have been using this in tournaments like Aiden and Biffle. And for the barrel, you want to be using the Hawkinson 142 millimeter Rapid. This is good for fire rate and hit fire accuracy. It makes this gun shoot so fast, and the TTK feels so quick with this barrel on. Then for the 
Optic, again, this is personal preference. I like to run the slate reflector. I know a lot of people like to use the NIDAR model on the Owen gun, but I've gone with the slate reflector for this class. So the stock, I have the LOR folding stock. You can use either the removed or the folding. This is great for movement speed and aimed on sight speed. For the perks, this is maxing out the movement speed on this gun. I have the acrobatic perk for the movement speed and sprinting movement speed. Perk two, we have quick, which is great for sprint speed. For the rear grip, I have gone with the fabric grip. Again, this is great for aimed on sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Magazine, I've gone with the Gorenko 72 rounds. Now this is very important. You need to be using these rounds on the Owen gun. On most of these Vanguard guns, you do want to be running these fire rate rounds. It makes the gun very easy to control and have a really good time to kill. For the ammunition, again, we're running the incendiary and again, the Mark VI Skeletal for the underbarrel. Now moving into the number two spot, this is gonna be quite a surprise to a lot of people, but this gun has been getting a lot of attention recently. I have got the Lapper and the Bren. Now, the Lapper, you guys need to hear me out. This gun has insane TTK. If you guys haven't unlocked this Lapper yet or leveled it up, I seriously recommend you level this gun up. It is absolutely unreal. I dropped 37 kills with this on my YouTube channel, so I will be linking that down in the description if you want to go and watch that. Class it up, we have the Agency Suppressor, the Rifle Barrel. This is the most important attachment on the Lapper. You guys need to be using this Rifle Barrel. It gives you extra damage and extra fire rate. Literally all you need for better TTK it's perfect so make sure you're running the rifle barrel on the lapper moving on optic you definitely need an optic on this lapper i mean it's personal preference but the iron sights are pretty horrible if i just deselect this you can see how obstructive those iron sights are it's very chunky it's very blocky so again i would definitely recommend using the microflex led on the lapper for the magazine we have the 50 round you can run the 45 round fast mag because the reload speed is pretty slow with the lapper it's got like this weird delay at the end where you've got to wait like an extra half a second for the mag to register so if that is quite a nuisance to you guys i would try out the 45 round fast mag however the extra five bullets definitely is nice and finally i have the bruiser grip for the under barrel i cannot stress to you guys enough how fast this gun feels in your hands it's so quick the movement speed is quick the ttk is quick it's just an all-round absolute machine this lapper you guys need to try this out if you haven't already moving on to the primary weapon slot now i know you guys are thinking what level 31 on the brent yeah i haven't used this gun a lot this is the class i've put together for level 31 as you can see in the top but from what i've heard from a lot of people i have actually picked this gun up quite a lot this is still the best fully automatic primary weapon in the game i know it's had its nerfs however the recoil is just absolutely non-existent on this gun when you build this right now, i'm sorry but i cannot give you guys the best level 70 class for the bren so what i'll do is i'll recommend a video in the description for you guys to watch for the best class setup but i have picked this gun up and been killed by this gun very recently so many times and it is unreal how quick this thing kills this gun will definitely be receiving a nerf in the new season too i can imagine this going pretty much down the the bottom of the list so make sure you guys are running this brand before the new season 2 update comes now moving on to the number one spot the moment you have all been waiting for i know you guys are probably thinking yo zyro where's that car 98 that you always use well here it is the number one spot for me has got to be the car 98 mp4 i do not think there is a much better class you can use on rebirth if you guys know how to snipe and you guys are comfortable with sniping you have to use this combo the car 98 has been god tier for the longest amount of time now and it is still absolutely dominating rebirth i know a lot of you guys love to run the car 98 this is my build for it i run the monolithic suppressor the tack laser the sniper scope the sport comb stock and the stipple grip take now i'm going to talk about this class a little bit because i know a lot of you guys are thinking yo where's the barrel on this gun you do not need a barrel you do not need a barrel on this car 98 trust me if you're playing rebirth a barrel is pretty much useless the bullet drop is pretty much the same you don't need a long range barrel for rebirth because the distances that you're actually sniping people at don't really require you to use a barrel so i would definitely take this off just for the benefit of getting some extra ads speed what i would replace the barrel with is down here the stipple grip tape now this is just absolutely maximizing your ads speed on this build i know what you can do is take off the monolithic suppressor and you could put on sleight of hand 
This is quite a popular class people like to run. However, I just love the feel of the monolithic suppressor. It's personal preference, but this is the class I've been running for the longest time now, and I will probably never change it. So definitely try out this class if you haven't already. And as you guys guessed it, the MP40 has made its return, and it is in the number one spot with the Car 98. You want to be running, again, the exact same class I already went through, but I will quickly run through it now with you guys. It's the Recoil Booster, Krausnik 317mm Barrel, Slate Reflector, Krausnik 33M Folding, stock steady perk quick perk fabric grip the 45 round mag for fire rates incendiary rounds and the skeletal stock now let me know down in the comments guys what you thought of my top 10 class setups if you guys disagree or agree with anything that i've said please let me know down in the comments because i would love to see your guys's feedback if you did enjoy today's video please be sure to drop a like and subscribe i know a lot of you guys have been asking for this for a long time now so here it is i hope you guys did enjoy today's video please enjoy the rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one